Friends gamers, Eliminators, welcome to today's video. All right, the video we got coming to you guys' way today actually has some serious domination in it. Doesn't do crazy, mind you, but there might actually be a dub involved. But don't worry, <laughs> it doesn't last long. So as always, guys, make sure you leave a like, hit that sub button, and enjoy the video. All right, first up, looks like we've got MLF Hunter, Young underscore Dolo 1221, and Kev underscore on the bus. My body count is low more than I would like to. Uh, Gosh, freaking talk about body counts and everything else. Holy crap, dude. What well, if I do go to prison again or jail or whatever? I'll definitely be more skinny, but I'm not gonna go right now. Is this if dude trying to, to schedule back, the time he's going to jail? Is, like, planning and scheduling the time he's going to jail? I'm already, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already. Oh, they smoke death. That's perfect. This kid's right here. Oh shit, we're playing fucking Warzone. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to. <laughs> what? Fuck. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm all down for freebies. I'll take freebies. I'll take those free samples all day long, baby. Keep them coming. He's knocked right here. He's knocked right there. He's knocked right there. Right there, you see him. Pick his ass off, dude. Get him. Get him. Get that ass, bro. You got this. He gets the back. He just gets the yeah, kid's toast. The kid's toast. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's my thing. Huh? Oh, it was you. <laughs> I thought that was you, man. I thought that was you. <laughs> Full send it, bro. Full send it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is this, why is this song getting louder, man? What the hell is this? I have never once heard freaking music playing when somebody else is driving the freaking damn car. I'm gonna get some sort of copyright infringement. Why is this getting louder? No! Jailbreak. Right here on me, right here on me, guys. Right here, right there, hugging the, holding the, hugging the zone. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go, baby! Give me that dub! I told you guys there was a late game dub coming! Don't you tell me! Seven eliminations and 3k damage, baby. Holy freaking crap, dude. So see, it is possible to get dubs with randoms. Well, we're probably not gonna top that tonight, but let's go ahead and give it a shot anyway, shall we? All right, looks like we got Amlo is sad, noob, 3xxx1, and butt crack. I'll put money on the fact that if that kid talks, he's gonna be like 11, 12 years old. Gas is moving. So, uh, uh, Mr. Crack, can I ask you a question? Just out of personal curiosity, what made you, uh, land on that username as a choice? That was just funny. It was just funny? I did oh, okay. for a while. Okay, I kind of figured, I, I, I was actually, uh, made a little bit of a bet with myself that you might be like 11 or 12. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking maybe that name was created yeah. back when you were probably around that age. Yeah, I had this name for a long time. Okay, I was like, gonna I'll say. I could have been wrong. I was thinking a shot in the dark that it <laughs> might have been something you've been holding on to for a little while for nostalgia's sake because that's kind of on the level I was putting <laughs> putting that freaking yeah, uh, name been at. For a long time. Gotcha. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't wrong. As much trying to push me from on top of steps to get a freaking UAV off that bike. Oh, to the right, to the right, oh. off the, off the train ramp. Yeah, train, 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 train. More than one squad, dude. There's more than one squad here. Your squad made off the fight. 
They're taking a zip line right now. They're, they're taking the redeploy. They're full send and do that. Actually, one's right above you, right above you, right above you. Just paint them, live paint. At the knock. Okay, I got a knock right there. He's resing. He's resing the gas. Aim low is absolute. Right there. Right there in front of you, right front of you ammo. Uh oh, oh no, SpaghettiOs. That's a bit of a risky. Crack, maybe look into uh, changing your name. <laughs> 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 it might be time. <laughs> I'll right, catch you guys later. Well, today I actually had an appointment with a sleep study specialist at the hospital near where I live. And for those of you guys who don't know, I actually have a severe case of sleep apnea. And for those of you who go through it yourselves or have a relationship with somebody and you get to experience it with them, my heart goes out to you because it's not a fun thing to experience. So anyways, I had a sleep study done about two years ago and uh, my apnea has gotten significantly worse even in the last couple of years. So thankfully the doctor was able to get a hold of those results and was able to go over the results with me. It's really, really bad actually. Now for those of you guys who are not knowledgeable in what apnea is, it's basically a physical or mental condition that causes you to stop breathing while you're asleep. It usually happens when you're asleep and you're laying back and your tongue just relaxes and falls to the back of your throat and cuts off all air passageways so you literally start suffocating. Now how your body usually compensates for that is it gives you shots and jolts of adrenaline to jolt you awake so that you start breathing again. Now just imagine that happening off and on all night long over and over and over and over and over again to where you can't fall asleep and your blood pressure and your heart rate is being constantly jolted non-stop every few minutes or so by your own body trying to keep you from suffocating. Now obviously you guys have probably seen the CPAP machines that people usually wear to counteract that where it goes over their face and this machine pressurizes air through the tube to their mouth and tries to hold their air passageway open when they're sleeping to allow them to breathe properly. Now while that's the physical effect of apnea, there's also a mental effect that some people suffer from alongside or by itself. Basically is your brain telling your body not to breathe when you fall asleep. And believe it or not, they actually have a rating system for apnea to show how severe it is. And most cases are rated around a five on the apnea scale. Well, when the doctor went over my results with me today, it turns out that I have an apnea rating of over a hundred, which basically puts me in the top five percentile of everybody on the planet that suffers from apnea. And yes, I actually do suffer not from the physical, but also from the mental aspect of apnea as well. And the biggest kicker of it all is the results from my previous sleep study cannot actually be used to proceed forward with any sort of treatment plan from them because it's older than six months. And so it's technically old data. So I have the pleasure of taking part pretty soon here in a yet another sleep study where I get to stay overnight at the hospital, get monitored by a camera, nurses and whatnot, and get tied up to a bunch of freaking electrodes and nodes all over my chest and my head and get to wear one of the CPAP machine masks on my face all night long. Yeah, definitely not an experience I'd ever want anybody to go through. Literally the last one I went through was so freaking terrible, dude. It was like the worst night of my life. Eight to 10 hours worth of no sleep on the comms. Hey, stop rolling over. Stop freaking staying awake. Go to sleep. Freaking you stop messing with the mask. Why aren't you asleep yet? We need you to fall asleep to get the study. What the hell's wrong with you? Now that was in another location. This one's a lot closer and I've heard nothing them but good things about this location. The people there are nicer. They actually have a nicer setup. Hopefully we're able to get some answers because the doctor I talked to actually seemed pretty knowledgeable. He's been doing this for quite a long time. So yeah, that's happening in a few weeks. So uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on that. Anyways, enough about me. Let's get back to the action. All right, looks like our final squad is Zenetic, J5, and Hiltzy3. Let's see if we've saved the best for last, shall we? Come check, one, two, one, two. Let's see. <laughs> Me no speak of the Espanoli, sorry. Oh shit. Oh, dije a 700, te tengo miedo, loco. Tú ves si tuviera 700, tú vas a matar. This is why you can't freaking run around individually anymore. You just can't. Everybody else in this freaking game just they do not move unless they have every teammate possible attached to their ass cheeks. I mean, look at this. Look at this, man. Just look at it.
Come on, bro. You got the cash. All right, Zenetic, dude, you got the cash. What the hell are you... Wait. What is... What is... What is Zenetic doing here? I want to see this guy has the actual brain capacity to figure out that he's supposed to go and buy us back without me saying anything. I really want to get on this kid for not having bought us back. But this is golden. I mean, th this is... This is... This is content right here. I lay marked the buy station when he was 20 feet away from me. Oh, good. At least one of, one of these guys has a brain! It's a valiant effort. Keep your head up. Return to base for debrief. Dude, I don't even freaking know what happened there, man! Knock the guy that comes across the zip line to go down the freaking stairs to plate back up, and I start taking damage. I think the guy that's running past me is the enemy that's shooting me. Turns out it's my teammate coming up from downstairs, and I'm, I'm still taking damage from somewhere. I don't even know where it was because, as you guys saw, I was already at the base of the damn stairwell when I got knocked! So we had one teammate quit out on us basically as soon as he lost his gulag, and another teammate that I just couldn't even freaking understand. I swear, man, we're just making it a habit at this point. The first match is the freaking best. The second match is mediocre, and the third match, it's like trying to do yoga on a mat made of shards of glass. Trying to relax and have a good time, but all the while you're being freaking stuck in the ass! Alright, I'm getting off before I lose any more of my sanity. As always, guys, stay safe. Know your lives matter. And above all else, guys, keep eliminating.